One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com, at the Griffith Observatory. And I've taken a couple of videos around here. And I'm going to take a walk around the little, there's a sundial there, and all the legends of astronomy and all that. And Galileo, and just take a walk around it, excuse me, and show you this, some kind of sundial thing on the top. Kepler, Newton, they're all here. What a deal. Herschel, you name it. Astronomer's Monument. And that's that. Show you the sundial here. Oneownercarguy.com. I don't sell sundials, but I sell some classic cars. And I was going to show you this thing up here too. It's kind of interesting. Just got a water spot on my camera. I'm hoping this shows up good without me wiping that off right now. It's starting to rain in California. Now, you're walking along, unless you get up here, you don't really realize what's happening. You just see this orbit of Saturn. You're like, what's this? A new walk of stars? Hey, walk of stars. It would be that too. Orbit of Jupiter, you know, all that. But you get up here and you realize. But this is our solar system at the Griffith Observatory. It's a scale model, which is actually the most amazing thing, is that it's to scale. A scale model of our solar system crosses the observatory sidewalk. At the real solar system is 110 billion times larger. In this model, one foot equals roughly 20 million miles. So, it shows everything. And you can see all this. You can pause this. I don't know how it'll show up. But if I was here, in the elevator, and the elevator is all, it shows you where to find all the different, like Pluto. Matt just had a good thing. Hey, did they take Pluto off there? Well, I didn't take it off here, but it made me wonder, did they take it off maps? Because I know they said it's not a, I was going to say not a state, but you get me. Orbit of Mars, orbit of Earth, orbit of Venus, orbit of Mercury. And that right there would explain why Mercury is so dang hot. And now that's interesting that they say that Mars is the next inhabitable planet when Mars is as far away from Earth, I guess you'd say out south, as Mercury is north. So it seems like that, in relation to that hot, would be that cold. And they say we can live there maybe someday. I don't know about that. Well, as you see these rings, go out quite a ways to the orbit of Jupiter. Wow! Now that would explain why we'd never be able to live on Jupiter. That's like a lot longer away from the Sun. And out from there would be the orbit of Saturn. Wow! That's amazing. This is the last planet probably too. No? There's more. My anus isn't going to be shown on here. Jupiter and your anus. He's got, this guy knows history and things. I'm not, I didn't know all this. Wow! My anus is right here. Right there on the ground. That is pretty cool. It's actually amazing to see how far away we are now from this. It is a long, long, long ways. And I'm thinking there's one more maybe. No, that's it. Unless it's just farther out than we know. Well, that is unique. Hi, Breeder. And a long ways out. One foot would be 20 million miles. Weighs a good 50 foot or more from that. Um, oh, Pluto was way out there. Well, I've shown everything. Shown all the unique little guys here and anything I can find and cameras everywhere. I'm filming you too. Film me. Go ahead. I got you on camera. We're on film. Let's do this. Orbit of your... My anus is out. My anus is all over the place, man. I tell you. I think this is Pluto out here or something and we just couldn't find it before. It's either this one or the... It's the next one. Holy smokes. Neptune. I mean, think of how dang cold it would be here. I mean, that man is standing on the sun. Hey, get off the sun. It's hot, man. You know I'm talking to him. Guy's gonna burn up standing right there. 
Yeah, there's another one out here. Blue's Pluto. How do they even know how big it is? They can't even see that far. They haven't built a telescope that's capable. They're like, ah, screw it. That, no more planet. Rhode Island, that's not a state no more either. Well, I think that's the last one. I'm not good at this, and I don't know all my planets. And we are gonna head back down the hill. <clears throat> Another shot of the Hollywood sign on the way out here for you. Maybe take a little bit of Beverly Hills on the way down. Rodeo Drive, a little Louis Vuitton. I can handle a little Louis Vuitton. Maybe a Burberry Star. Maybe check out some Chanel and some Pro. Oh man! Holy smokes. Them are some amazing jeans or something. Pantalones. Well, that is the Griffith Observatory. Gotta take, I love that green brass or whatever. And, you know, as long as you're looking at sights and stuff, then pants coming at you, looked, it just looked like it was nylons to the, to the hairline. And that's all I thought. The back's not the same, but it looked like it was nylons to the hairline the other way. Well, one owner car guy. That's the observatory. Can't wait around for an hour for it to open or anything. Actually, an hour and a half. So we're going to have to take off two hours almost. Hour and 40 minutes. Well, thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are, we'll talk to you. Love them old copper or brass roofs where they turn green like that. Better look at what I'm talking about right there. It's starting to rain. The rain is coming in. And I'm hoping to get down to Beverly Hills and such before. And we're, we actually stayed right over there. You can see I took in another video, a video of that blue Scientology building. And I'll tell you what, I gotta give them breeder. Props for marketing. Um, they definitely have marketed and have taken over Hollywood. We stayed right it's there. It's too zoomed up to show you. And LA, right there. And then if you go down these streets, right in front of here, right in there somewhere, boom, that's Hollywood. And Hollywood runs all the way down to that big group of buildings right there. We were just down there last night and I filmed some of it. There's a Capitol Records building. Is that it? I gotta look through my... There we go. There it is, the round one. Right there. And the Golden Globe, I think it's that big black tower is where they're gonna have it there. And we'll get you some of that during the day on the way out of town. Really easy town to get around. Everybody goes, oh, it's so traffic in this. You know, it's not that bad. Well, one owner car guy. I'm gonna go out to the end here and show you one more thing. The Hollywood sign, for bam This camera does really good zooming up. Sony, definitely get a Sony camera. Well, thanks for watching. Check out all these beautiful trees. It's green and lush and the birds are chirping and it's just a free bunch of fun out here right now. I mean, really, a free observatory with a beautiful view. If I had a turkey sandwich right now, I'd be set. I do have an apple in my pocket. I'm not just happy to see you. That apple's gonna be gone. We'll talk to you. Ask another question to the park ranger. Can I ask you one more question? I think it's cool there's no smoking up here in the park. That's awesome. And then we were talking and we were wondering, you ever bust anybody for smoking in their car? Because it makes sense, no smoking anywhere in the park. That means nowhere in the park. So you probably busted people, gave them a ticket in their car and stuff. How much that runs somebody? Um, well, we don't really do them as part-timers, but the full-timers can do that. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. all we can do is just like tell them, we can't, and then they'll put it out. Like nine times out of ten, they'll put it out. Probably get a couple people that end up up here thinking, oh, that's cool to smoke, and then, but wow. I figured you'd catch them in their car though, because oh, yeah. illegal is illegal. If you can't, you can't. Exactly. Well, thank you. Right, Sorry man. for all the dumb Bye. questions, man. Hey, if you're ever online, if you ever need a car, an older car, especially classics, I do a lot of Chevys, uh, Oldsmobiles, Mercedes, and stuff. It's oneownercarguy.com. I got about 280 cars. All kinds of cool stuff. And just tell me, I'm the guy that you bugged up at the top of Griffith Park. I'll give you the best deal around that. All right. Serious. You guys, you don't have a car No, I don't. I left everything back down at the hotel. Uh, okay. uh, one owner car guy. One owner car guy. Okay. Have fun, man. You too. You too.